Mr. Schmolson, it's good to be here today. Do you remember when we met, when you were the principal at Lawrence Middle School? Oh, yikes. I certainly do remember that was a long, long time ago when I was principal at Lawrence Middle School in Chatsworth. I surely do, Tony. Gosh, Tony, you've been at LAUSD almost as long as I have been there because you were a student also at LAUSD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I started off my career uh, at South Park Elementary and I went to Drew Middle School and I uh, went to Fremont for uh, a year. Ended up leaving Fremont High School because they didn't have a music program and ended up going to Narbonne. And um, it, the rest has been history. Well, hello, everybody. This is Scott Schmerlson, and I want to welcome you to our podcast today. I am so glad to welcome Tony White, who is the director of the Los Angeles Unified School District All District High School Honor Band. And it's always a treat to connect with Tony, but this year especially because the band has been involved with a Tournament of Roses for 50 years. You heard me. 50 years. LAUSD All District High School Honor Band from Los Angeles, California, Director Anthony L. White. Wow, what a long ride that has been. So, so welcome, everybody. Tony, it's so good to have you join us today. Uh, I really like to talk about you. So let's start with your story, Tony. Tell us about yourself, where you grew up, what instruments you play, and you got into this world of music. Well, I mean, again, being a product of Los Angeles Unified School District all the way through, I started my career on clarinet, and then I progressed to saxophone, and I play flute. And um, it's all been because of being a part of my music program in, um, in school. I was the first one in my family to take a part, uh, be a part of music programs. And, uh, but it was in my senior year in high school that I had the opportunity to march in the all district honor band. And I must say that was a changing part in my life. Um, um, being in that band has led me to um, follow my career as being a music educator as well as being a music administrator and uh, working on behalf of making things better for our kids. So Tony, let's talk about the band. How did this band get started? How large is it? And let's talk about some of the exciting venues where you guys have performed. How has it changed over the years? And importantly, why is it so important for our kids? I know that's a lot, but you can do it. Take it away, Tony. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm, I'm so proud to be one of the caretakers of, of this fantastic program. It is 50 years old, started in 1973 by then Superintendent Dr. William Johnston, who I had the great honor of having many conversations with um, before his passing. And uh, in, in, in his time, I mean, it was designed to march the Terminal Roses Parade. And what happened um, that um, the magnitude of bringing all of our students together at that time, 49 high schools, and to work together to make presentations. And it led to the band performing at Super Bowls, um, at the World Series, you name it, um, LA Marathons at one time. I mean, just any big, large event. And I, I remember coming in as a student uh, in 1984, 85. In 1986, the band was invited to Atlanta, Georgia to be a part of the Coca-Cola Centennial Parade. And I was a part of that. And that changed my life uh, to wanting to be a music educator and work for our district and, and do some great things. The band normally runs between, you know, this year we marched 290, but we've been as large as 360 kids. So I'm thinking after the, you know, now as we are coming out of, uh, you know, the pandemic stage, that the band is going to get larger and we're going to get more kids excited about being a part of this great tradition. That's great. You know, Tony, the arts as well as sports are very important to our kids. And for many of them, the reason they come to school and that they stay in school is because they are so in love with sports, the arts, extracurricular stuff. They love it. They love it. Tony, I believe that being in this band and music in general can really change students' lives. 
That's what you do. You certainly do that. And I want to ask you if you could tell me about a couple of students whose stories stay with you over these years. Oh my God, it's, it's so many stories and so many rich stories that actually still motivates me to this day to say this is why we do what we do. But uh, I can think of um, students who have witnessed their maturity from going from middle school to high school and then becoming teachers in our district. I have several of those students across the district that have now are out um, doing great work with kids. And then, I, you know, I have a student recently has um, sent me a text saying, you know, hey, you know, I, I'm now, you know, after him finishing the band, now he's going to be accepted to medical school. And one of the things I always mention to kids is that, you know, if they're in music programs, it's not that we want them to just do music, but it could be a, a lens to doing a lot of other things. And uh, these, these students, as, as I see them now being teachers, as being uh, entrepreneurs or being uh, musicians, and, and, you know, it's become very, very powerful. Let me just tell our audience that uh, Los Angeles is the arts capital of the entire world. And it is very important, very important for LA Unified District Schools to have the arts easily in every single school in Los Angeles. It is so important. It is so necessary. Yes, sir. And I, I want to thank you for having me here today. And, and I want to thank all everybody who voted yes on Proposition 28 so that that now becomes a, another vehicle for us to bring in more arts into our kids and at, all across the district. It should really be a, a game changer um, for every student that we have. And I just want to add one last thing, Tony. I don't mean to embarrass you, but I want you to know that everybody loves Tony White. The students, the teachers, the parents, they love you for what you do for the kids. Thank you, Tony. We love you now very we're much. Coming home for the last Friday. Performance that we have a performance Friday. Second whistle, please. Ben! Ah! Hot dude!